Mr. Johnson here um, for one of another one of my assemblies. And today I have some wellbeing ambassadors along with Mrs. Coulters to support me. But we also have a very special visitor who is Anne, our um, school police officer who works very closely with us and supports us with many things. Thank you and welcome, Anne. So, I mean, poor Anne didn't know she was going to be joining our assembly like this tonight, but she's very happily volunteered. <laughs> So um, we are going to be talking about protected characteristics because it's something that we're working on in school at the moment, isn't it? Now, can anyone remember what a protected characteristic is? Molek? A, character a characteristic that you, a personal type of information that could make other people make fun of you or you could get discriminated by you. What a fantastic answer. Yes, characteristics are what make us us, our, our special features about us. And you're quite right. If we don't protect them, we can be discriminated against, can't we? We can be made fun of and people can be unkind about it. OK, so what I thought I'd do is I'm going to put you on the spot because we haven't rehearsed this. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you if you can remember any of the characteristics and um, perhaps if you could just give us a little few words about the ones you can remember and then we'll um, see if Anne can help us out with with them as well that would be brilliant so I'll tell you what we'll just work around if that's all right so Olak I'll start with you can you remember a protected characteristic race race okay tell us about that then race. you could go come from any type of origin for example you can have different skin color different different size noses everything you yeah have everything different different eyes yeah so that is that is a brilliant um way of describing what race is can you remember any other characteristic gender gender okay that's a good one can you remember the example i used on uh, with gender in our assembly your life face can you remember what i did Girls can't eat sausages and boys can't use skipping ropes. I did. I said there's a new rule in our school that girls can't have sausages for lunch and boys can't use skipping ropes. Am I protecting your gender characteristic there? No, I'm not, am I? And of course I wouldn't do that. And there'd be a riot if the girls couldn't have sausages. <laughs> um, so, yes, thank you. Well remembered. OK, Bridget. Oh, yes. Some jobs where you can't go in whilst you're pregnant because you will go on maternity leave to look after your baby. So it means that some jobs have that you can go in and you can be pregnant and some jobs you can't be pregnant whilst you work. Uh, yes. So, um, for example, we have members of staff in our school that, that um, become pregnant and they, they go off on maternity leave to have their babies and it wouldn't stop them getting a job or working here. Um, there's also um, risks around being pregnant. We have to really look after our pregnant ladies um, because of the, the um, you know, danger the danger to the to the ba the unborn baby and you're quite right some uh, bosses and companies and things might think oh I don't want the hassle of this so they wouldn't give that that person the job good one relationship between two of the same genders can some people can be mean about it but it isn't absolutely fine to be um, in a relationship with the same gender. Yes, it is. Thank you. Um, so you might, uh, we might have a ha household where there's two mums or two dads. Yeah, or, or um, a mum and dad, or just a mum or a grandma or whatever. We're all made up of different things, and that's that's a protected characteristic. You're quite right um, about who you choose to be in love with, isn't it? Yeah, excellent. Well done. Okay, Alex. Um, the, one of them was. Disability. 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 Speak up, Alex, just to make sure we can hear you. Um, because some people get discriminated for not being able to do things because they have a disability or they... Oh, I can't remember. Well, I'll tell you what, let me prompt you. you, you yeah. I think you've got a good idea there. Yeah. That We have, um, I can think of the top of my head, we have a child in our school who mm -hmm. uses a wheelchair. So... Would she have the same opportunity as everybody else in this school? Yes. Yes, because we protect that characteristic, that disability, don't we? 
Um, so, so she has the complete curriculum. She's able to go to any club. She's able to do anything she wants that you can do. Yeah. Good one. Uh, have you another one? Or did we pinch it? Age. age. Oh, age. That's a good one. Um, some people um, in some workplaces or in some school areas as well. I don't get that. Um, people get made fun of for being older or younger. And uh, some people aren't allowed to get jobs because of the certain age. And you used uh, an example of, say, an eight-year-old woman coming in to get a job at our school. Uh, someone not like you uh, would say that they couldn't get the job there because they were too old and there was risks there. Yeah, good example. Yeah, um, Miss Coulter knows me well enough, and all the recruitment that I do in this school, and I, I firmly believe it doesn't matter how your age. Um, I think personally, and this is because I'm, I'm um, a little bit older than Miss Coulter, I think. <laughs> I think I'm. Um, but I think with with uh, certainly with employment, um, older people bring a lot a lot of experience and wisdom because they've done a lot more in that time. So I actually feel it's strength rather than a barrier. Uh, but that's just my personal thing. But yeah, you're quite right. Some some employers might not employ you if you're if you're elderly. Okay, and Leo. So last one, religion. Religion. Because some people might be made fun of just believing a different god or just yeah believe in a different god yeah because they might not believe in the same thing so people might make fun of you yeah just for not believing the same things as you can you remember what we call that racism racism well done yes it is yeah we celebrate uh, that level of diversity don't we we love it when people have got different faiths different origins um or, or, and everything else that we've described we celebrate that difference don't we in our school and um, because we want you to grow up and, and celebrate that that diversity when you're older right and we come to you are you blown away with them are they fabulous so impressed oh so uncomfortable and it's great it's great to hear it have you could you could you share anything with us from your experience as a police officer um, yeah, I mean, I'm a PCSO, so I don't deal with the hate crimes that the police officers deal with. But I'm very proud that North Yorkshire Police that I work for are a very diverse force, as is every other police force in the country. So we work with people in, you know, in the office that I work in, we have people with different coloured skin, different religious beliefs, um, you know gay people and and we're very very diverse in north yorkshire police um and we deal with hate crime very seriously we take it very seriously now we would say that hate crime is an offense where the victim feels that they have been somehow targeted either physically or mentally or verbally by somebody because as we've been talking about um it could be they're disabled it could be they are in a relationship with somebody else. So yes, we have definitely dealt with um, homophobic incidents whereby um, the victim chooses to be in a relationship with somebody of the same sex, which is perfectly fine, but acceptable. Um, and somebody feels that that isn't correct and that isn't right. So they have used a very horrible word directed at that person, okay? So if, you can be who you are and you shouldn't be in fear of walking down the street you know of um of people that just live their lives differently because we all live together don't we um and we have to understand that so we had an incident last night funnily enough mm -hmm. um where a gentleman was very unhappy about one of the shops in scarborough um and was very nasty to the people in there because they were from a different country but we tried to explain we all live together you know, and we all need to respect each other. So we take it really, really seriously. Yeah. Um, I would like to think that these kind of offences are on the decline, so there are less and less, because I think things like this from a young age, I think if we all appreciate that we are all different and we all want to live our lives differently, um, I would like to think that since I started 15 years ago, um, it's definitely less of an issue these things that we deal You're with. You're touched by that, aren't you, Miss Coulton? Thank you. No, definitely. Yeah, I agree. And these are our ambassadors for the, for the future, aren't they? 
Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. I really enjoyed that. I feel really feel like, warm. Yeah, well done. <laughs> right. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you found that um, interesting and useful. And thank you again to my team here that have supported. And thank you, Anne, for joining us for that. Should we give everyone a big wave? Bye. Ha, ha, ha.